Hello my friends and welcome back to our Let's Play Valkyrie Profile Lenith for the PS5. My name is Lars Boy, this is Story Biscuit Channel, and today we go into the tombs of Amenti, burial ground of the ancient kings of Amenti. As a result of a magic pact made during his lifetime, one of the kings has risen from his grave as a powerful undead creature. The soul of this poor, cursed creature must be liberated and laid to rest. Let's do this. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. And there's a chest right above us. Wow, that is... That's got to be one of, our, one of the fastest chests that I've ever seen. And we're going to have to climb our way up there, it looks like. What was that? I like someone moaning in the background. Yes! Ooh, 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 look at that! That was a beautiful... That was a beautiful maneuver. Did you see that, my friends? That was totally accidental, but I'll take it. Wow. That's... That's rude. I almost killed Suo, too. Oh, I miss you, Lucian. I miss you, Lucian. I really do. He must desire respite from thy empty existence. Thou shalt have it. I don't think I've ever heard Laurentis. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. It's just been a while. Celestial Star. These guys must be really weak to Mystic Cross. Holy cow, look at that damage. So oh, what does your special look like? <laughs> That's a great voice line. Um You have served me well, my Oh, look at the flame. Oh, that's so cool. I really miss Lucian though. Lucian was the man. All that fun I have heaven. Are you serious? I probably should use those. I mean they give them to you, right? Okay, good look at the Oh my lord. Well, this might take a while. There's like three parts to this tomb. Or is this the Tombs of Amenti or Tomb of Amenti? Okay, why does it... Oh, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get to that chest? How the heck am I supposed to get to that chest? Cause that chest looks like it's higher than the other one. Ah. Maybe I can use the um the thing as a ladder. There we go. Well that works. That worked really well. Fortunately, they keep getting first tag, they keep dropping stuff on me. Kind of annoying. And he's dead. No, it cannot be. And she's dead. Well, we get. Oh, it's a flame jewel. We can still get the item. That is just nasty. Absolutely nasty. I knew I wanted to get out of there as soon as I saw the rent to die. I, I, they just don't have the HP right now. Yeah, they're both kind of low level for this. And again, I don't have Lucian to like power someone up instantly. Plus, we haven't really seen any enemies here. Oh, there's our enemy. Okay, it looks like we can go up there. Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. Not really getting a lot of experience anymore. 
I was thinking about Celestial starting there. I decided not to to try to farm experience, but probably I should have. Probably should have, because these guys really, really hurt. Yeah, we're just not doing enough damage. Actually, we don't. We didn't kill that guy. That that that's a really annoying move. That is such an annoying move. Uh, I'm not liking my chances, my friends. Without Lucian, I'm just not. I never knew how powerful Lucian was, but Lucian was very, very powerful. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like how they keep dropping things on me. That's what I don't like. I mean, are you kidding me? We have enemies which just, just keep dropping stuff, like, left and right, and it's so dang annoying. Because it does a lot of damage, and it hits everyone in your party. And they're not worth that much experience either. Only worth like 6,000? Ooh, that looks new. I don't want to get stoned by it though. I mean, he is a basilisk. Yeah, I mean, even if I gave him the more powerful weapon, I I'm still not impressed by him. Let's see defeat Doom 1. That's one of the things I remember about Star Ocean 2. I don't remember a lot. My fact, I don't remember much of anything about that game. And that's why I want to uh, potentially replay the game sometime. But, um, in uh, Star Ocean 2, there's actually a, uh, there's actually this thing that saves how many times you hear a voice in a battle. And in order to unlock, like, the... I guess the, the highest difficulty, um, you have to hear a certain amount of voices. And you can't hear, like, all the voices in one playthrough. So it basically requires you to play twice in order to hear everything. It's a really, really cool idea. That's it. Wow. 2800 EXP. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously, game, are you actually kidding me at this point? That's all the experience you get? Oh man, that is sad. To my side, my noble These beasts are much too dangerous. We might have a lot of Mr. Crosses in this episode. I mean, I, I just have taken a major... A major turn back since not using Lucian. I mean, Lucian was much more powerful. Monsters, get the heads. I like that. That's a cool line. Just not getting a lot of experience. It's kind of sad. Try to time it. Yeah, okay, this is a really difficult time. Because they only have like a second in between. I can't jump. Do y'all see that? 
That was pretty cool. Is that Barbarossa over there? Alright, well, I got a little bit more crystals out of that one. That makes me a little bit more happy. Still, nowhere near what Lucy was doing. Did I do it? Didn't kill the sorcerer. Interesting. Wow. Oh my god. Did you see that damage? What the heck was that? Like seriously, what the heck was that? That was great, A, hey, you know what? I don't know if I have enough elixirs. <laughs> Trying to go very carefully. I don't want this guy to get first strike. Dulahan. Cool name. Starting with him because I know he doesn't do a lot of hits. And I know that he can get a uh, plus 40. And then I know Lenith. I know Lenith can get me to 100. And if she can't kill it, I know Lorenta can. Nope, we got it. Cool, cool, cool. I'm glad this guy did not get a chance to totally destroy me. This would be a good strategy in this game. Just kill before you get killed. Is there really any meaning to this victory? Alright, that was a good experience right there. I, I like that. I'll just wait for a base metal. Man. Is there anything like else here? Well, there's a room right on top of us, but that's not a room. That's just a ceiling. Okay, yeah, that's the ceiling. Okay, um, skills. You're about max. You're about max. Let's do something about that. Uh, what am I gonna get? Um. Um, let's get throw. Never seen that before. And I don't know if it's good. So let's try it out. And let's go ahead and max fight. And then let's max some, um, let's get some other skills to four. You know, I do what I traditionally do. Alright, let's check his traits. He's already got max traits. Good. Um. Uh, could be dark. I don't think I'll ever use it, but. Whatever. I don't like these skills that make you take HP damage. Really, really don't. Let's max first aid. So I might use that one day. I may use auto item one day. I may use uh, cure condition one day. Okay, uh, Suo, you got 650. Uh, I'd rather you get um, attack power. You already have attack power. Yeah, that works for me. And Lorenta. 
Uh, how about stun magic? And... Probably need a lot of damage resist uh, with these guys that are dropping ceilings on your head. Okay. Let's equip stun magic. And we... Okay, you still have 789. I really don't know what else to increase. Alright, there. Um, yeah, I think we're... I think we're good for now. Wonderful. I'm glad I went back here, though. Yeah, I definitely need to go up now. Avoid this. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that the first time. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by it right there. It looks like I definitely jumped into it. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Um, game? Oh, hello. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Easiest way to do it. Just reset the room. Wonderful. I like being ping pong to death. I'm trying, my friends. It's not easy. The jump mechanics of this game aren't perfect. It's very easy to go flying. Why can't I make that jump? That's like the easiest jump in the world. There we go. So cool. Okay, I can't go right. At least I, I made it up here. Yeah, I know I just used noble elixir. Screw it. I, I don't want to manually have to heal everyone after that. I just want to move on, okay? Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. One of the coolest things about this enemy here is he doesn't like bounce up. So it's really easy just to like hit him with everything you got. Maybe I should get him the better weapon. I think I'd rather him do more damage than extra hits. Because the extra hits don't really seem to be adding up. This like entire gen dungeon is all about platforming. It's not easy. Thankless creatures these beasts are. At least those guys are worth a lot of experience. Uh, where are we at? What do we have equipped? Wow, you have a double bracelet. I didn't realize that. Cool. So all three of them get something good when they level up. 
Now that was a good jump. Yeah, that was a good jump. Of course you're going after two oh. Of course. So I think that whoa, did you see that there? It was like a dagger that got thrown, literally, like thrown. You know, that's why it's called throw, quite whisper. Did you just miss completely? Really, Suo? Come on, dude. You had one job. One job, and that's just to face this guy off. I also say he doesn't have his reverie up. Is it because he got hit? Or is it because I didn't equip the skill? I need to check that. That's why. I think I'm gonna give you throw. Just an extra thing to try to get hits, I guess. And let's max Reverie. So let's also take this moment to uh, level your traits. And if you're wondering, yes, I know, I only really need to do this if I'm going to send Asgard, most likely. I don't care. I want to make everyone as heroic as possible. You know what I mean? Okay, and I'm going to put my remaining points into defense. Oh, Lamenta, she's only at 310. Got 184. Good to go. Is there anything else in this room? No, technically there's a spot way over here that I haven't explored. But nothing up there. I know there's nothing up there because I can see the map and I know there's no treasure. But still, I went up there anyway because I'm the type of person that likes every single thing explored. We found a blue gem. Am I gonna have to fight my way out? Oh god. Wait, what? Views. All right, the crystal worked. All right, thank you, Last Dungeon, for making me realize crystals can do weird stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Went through a plate. Uh, wow, it's got huge defense. Amazing. I think I'll give that to Poo. Ah. I think I'm gonna go to Suo. Since he seems to get targeted a lot. Dungeon is driving me crazy. It's not the it's not the enemies, although the enemies are quite strong. It's 
everything else in this place. Where are my elixirs at? Okay, um... I need to go right. Now we got flames shooting out of pots. Really, game? This thing is throwing like everything at me. Not even close. Nope, that was not even close. You're right, Valkyrie. <laughs> we got a chest at least. Hope it's something good. It'd be great to get another mythical plate though. I don't think an enemy would drop that. Just to wrap this ball. I'd rather just take that. Stone check. Just checking to make sure I've gone everywhere so far. Stone's falling in the background. Hmm, that can't be good. Yeah, we could go left or right. Let's go right first. Yeah. Yeah. To Trying to use a map to figure out where to go. Oh my god, this is not a good fight. Do I mean by this not a good fight? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. He just dodged it. Like it was nothing. You're a sorcerer. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Although if this is D&D, I know most people will probably make mages with very high dexterity so they can dodge. But that's not the point. This ain't D&D. Let's go back first. Okay. I was gonna ride up using crystals, but this works too. Falling down here? I can. Well, that was fair game. Thanks. Just drop me on a Dulahan. I really appreciate that. Wow, that's powerful. Finish him, Gray. I really like Greg. Greg is cool. Oh, we froze him too. Very good. Still six I fell though, because I have no idea what else I'm falling into. Three level ups. Wow, that was a lot of crystals. Can I just fight those guys like non-stop in this dungeon? Just nothing but them because I like them over like everything else in here. All right, 728. Going to max this out. Then this. Uh, what about Lorenta? 825. 
Okay, cool. All right, oh, let's see. Where the heck are we? Way down there. Hey, can you drop down, please? Too far away. Come over here, Lil. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, come here, you dumb bird. I can probably do this without this, but... Can't do it. I'm gonna have to use my pistol strategy earlier. These guys aren't too bad. It's annoying because they do this. Well, not that. Okay, that move sucks, but the one they drop, like, a uh, thing on you, that kind of sucks. But overall, these guys aren't that bad. Ooh. Ooh, not nice. Very, very nice. Oh, need a little bit more. By the way, I want to say hello to Anime Gaming Greek, who, uh, who's been watching our playthrough. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And if you're watching, you haven't commented, hey, feel free to comment. I would love to welcome you into our community, but never feel like you need to. I just always like to talk about games to people, and that's why this channel exists. So... You know, if you want to go ahead and let me know how you're doing, feel free to. And if you don't, that's fine too. Yeah, I think what I do is this. That. That works very well. This doesn't work very well. Please stop dropping things on me. That is so annoying. Finish him, Lacta. You really can't take any chances on these guys. You know what I mean? It's just, these guys hurt too much. Not a lot of EXP either. But we do get a chest. And a unicorn horn, which is not useful at all unless we have a second mage. Which we don't. Okay, where are we? Uh, I think we can go this way to go back to where we were. A loose certain hammer, a loop burn hammer, however you call that. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if I should go this way, the other way. Chest had to be somewhere over here. Mystic Pass. That's one way to avoid those things. To the front. Can only go to the front. Oh, there's a chest there. Okay, ah, that looks fun. Y'all want to play Plinko? Because that's what that looks like. These things come back on way too fast.
Mental ore. So that's why I had treasure search on because treasure treasure search does a great things with that. Uh, this looks fun. No, this does not look fun. Like I said, it looks like a giant plinko machine. It's like I'm back in this room. That's why I got the chest. We need to go left though. To my side, my noble and that looks like problems. Yeah, that looks like a problem. Because there's two of them. But there's one, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But with two of them, I think that is a big deal. Oh boy, the enemies in here have taken a definite step up. You can really see the difficulty uh, just jump as we go through each chapter. Do enough damage to kill both of them? I hope so, but I don't think so. Oh wow, it did! Holy cow! Alright, that was pretty amazing. I do think we'll just fight these guys normally without doing a mystic cross because even though they hurt they still give at least decent experience right actually I'm not too sure I know the dual hands do and if I can fight the dual hands all day long I would be happy fighting the dual hands all day long it's hard to counter when the thing flies off the screen you know what I mean Okay, we got a couple magic crystals. Oh wait, oh I did I messed up. I messed up. Oh well. He's still okay. Oh dang it, I messed up again. I mean ah, oh, can't believe the familiar killed it. I'm about 10,000 XP. Okay, so we can go down one way or down another way. It looks like both down take us to the same room. And I'd rather fight um the dragons than the uh, the mummies, I think. Because the mummies have that really, really annoying attack that I'm just not a fan of. So And what's interesting is they give you a unicorn team, a unicorn one here, so they expect you to use it. Hmm. Can I try to bounce my way up? Can I try to, with some weird jank movement? No, I could try. Ooh. 
Not sure if I jumped at just the right moment or would have worked. I'm not getting that spring like I was getting in the other place. Maybe it's because I'm not ducking. Ah! I really wish I could just turn around in this game without moving. The problem is when I hit right or left, you automatically move. See that? I, I can't just turn left. I can't figure out a way to to get across that. Uh, let's see. Looks like no matter where I go, I gotta go back the way we came. Um, yeah, no matter where we go, we're gonna have to go back the way we came. And if you're wanting to know, I really don't want to fight the sorcerer. I, I really don't. How the heck do I get out of here? I feel like I'm going in circles now. I, I am literally going in circles. Maybe this one? How do I get out of here? I need to go all the way to the right. But can we go all the way to the right? Dead ends me here. And what we do is we go back up this way. And then from here. I go down here. I don't go up. There we go. Alright, I think this is gonna take me to a place I haven't been here. I mean, a place I have been, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's see. I'm probably gonna go left again. Because we have been we have been here yet, right? No, we have not been here. It looks familiar, but we have been here. Jumped right into that, trying to avoid the fires. Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. Oh, why don't you let me run the game? Oh. Really, they can guard now? Are you serious? Are you serious, game? Get me out of this fight. Get me the heck out of that fight. <sighs> oh. Like I said, this game has gotten a lot harder. I think, you know, maybe I misunderstood that about the hard difficulty. In the hard difficulty, you get all the dungeons, but I think some of the dungeons you get are literal hard dungeons. Like dungeons that are hard. You know what I mean? They, these dungeons you wouldn't get in normal mode because the game knows the heart. I don't know if this is one of those hard dungeons or not, but I'm just saying it would not surprise me. The heck? Yeah. Hmm. 
Can't seem to get over that. I hear like a noise too. Let's see if I can get up here. Check that up there. I break off whatever that is? Ah, okay. Really, game? Is this magic? I already had that, right? I do. So, can I transmute that? Noise arrow. <sighs> I might know the unicorn horn as well. Let's see if I can try to change some of these books. If I can try to get some more skills. If I can get some more skills, that would help a lot. Let's go back to the top here. And let's see. Class trial already have. I can do anything with these. Uh, let's try a um, less powerful gem. Can't do anything. And then with no gem. Yeah. <sighs> It'd be really nice if I could have some more skills, you know? Alright, anyway, moving on. Kind of weird to get a save point here, though. There's obviously no bosses. I think I'll drop another uh, safety save, though. Just in case we get totally wrecked. Okay. I see what I have to do now. I know you could do that. Excellent. Ah. Another one's fate. That's unfortunate. We keep getting items that we don't really need. That would be nice, game, if you gave me an item that I could use. Just saying. It would be nice. Wow, we got a lot of crystals off that one. That was incredible. I'm all for that. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Monsters get the ends. Is there really any meaning to this Ooh. Will I be able to complete this dungeon in one episode? I have no idea. Probably not with as complicated as this dungeon is.
I gotta go all the way back now. You know what? I know I said it wasn't gonna be as this feature, but I think this is a good time to do it because here's the truth. Me getting back here is just me running all the way back around here, all the way up here, and then coming all the way back here. And do I jump across or do I jump down? I probably want to jump across. Okay, well, I, I made it to a different platform. <laughs> I made it to a different platform. That's all that matters. Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. I am not a fan of this dungeon. That is definitely for sure. I'm just, I'm just not a great platformer, you know? Although I do love, and I'm not, and I'm gonna say this flat out, I do love how this game has a platforming element because that's, uh, that's something that makes this game unique with like RPGs. Like, I don't know of any other RPG that has this type of system of jumping and platforming and puzzling. Uh, it, it's, I find it really neat. Are you kidding me? It only goes down when I'm on there? Oh, this is bad. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, screw your puzzle. I'm just gonna go around it. Where we at? Oh, boy. Go up there. A sail rapier. And those flames. They activate way too fast, okay? Just wanna say. Calm down, game. I shouldn't have done anything because we, we made a faint. Oh, well. Bicycle disaster. His voice is amazing. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let him attack because I want to keep attacking him. Yeah, it wasn't a bad move. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That that worked for me. I was hoping to get at least you know a few more crystals, and I think I got ten on that, which is I think a two x multiplier. Uh, Lenneth level, that's a shame. I didn't know she was about to level, but it's okay. We have another save point. But I don't see a boss. Okay, make that thing stop this time. Do I go left knowing that I'm gonna get trapped if I do? Oh, there's two of them. Well, that would have crushed me. Well, that would have sucked. To my side, my noble I'm here, Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. <laughs> Oh, we fainted him. Excellent. I was kind of hoping that would happen, but there was no guarantee it would have. But make him fade again? That'd be great. Nah. Well, that's a new move. That sucked. I don't know what Curse does. Watch it like it's no experience. I wouldn't know. I'm not keeping track. But that would suck. Especially since that fight was a really good fight. Now you got experience. Let's see. Um.
that uh, Prime Banish, right? Stone Ink Curse. It's kind of cool with the, uh, the ghost flying around him, though. Because don't forget, um, Lorenta's magic can, uh, cause, uh, pain. Oh, just a straight-up lightning bolt. That's new. Well, that was annoying. Oh, we took him out at least. I think that's the first time all game I've been cursed. I, I still don't know what it does though. Let us be gone from this place, my companions. Yeah, Valkyrie's like, I'm ready to get the heck out of here. I don't like this place. I'm like, I don't blame me, Valk. Really, really don't. Noble Bandage or Pine Bandage. Uh, 999. Okay, I need to give skill points somewhere. Let's see. I want to get these two. And. Do my usual. No, just make it so that uh, everyone has. You already have your traits. Yes, you do. I just like to do this to cover uh, bases for the future. Go ahead and max things out. Alamenta, uh, you're maxed. Let's go ahead and do this as well. Don't like that. Definitely don't. Gray's also basically... I don't really know what else to do with Gray. It's like I don't know what else to do with Valkyrie. I think on the next level I'll figure something out for Valkyrie. I will say one thing, this game has taught me how to use these bridges. Really, game? Really? That's so unfair, and you know that's unfair. I mean, come on. That's just... That was just mean. That's like a troll treasure chest. Alright, we got more fire. I'm not a big fan of Toro. I'm just not. He's just so plain. I mean, he just does like regular just samurai katana attacks. And I, I, I'm... I don't think I'm a fan of the katana. I mean, I love the katana in a lot of games. I think it's like one of the coolest weapons ever. But in this game... In this game, I just don't think I'm a fan of the katana. Okay, gotta wait for this. Oh, I didn't see him until the very last second. I yeah, I didn't see him until the very, very last second. 
Oh, thanks, game. Okay, thank you, game. Those guys hurt. Like, not a little. Those guys hurt a lot. I mean, that is insane how much damage these turtles do. I know they're, um, Basilisk, even though they don't look anything like a Basilisk. I thought Basilisk were, like, giant demented chickens. on top of each other. <laughs> oh. That was hilarious. Okay, nothing up there. Oh, I... uh, let's check this way first. Huh, an absolute empty room with nothing in it. And my treasure search is not going off, which means there literally is nothing there. Hey, okay, those kind of disturb me a little. What just happened? What is going on here? This is weird. Okay, so by getting sucked up into whatever that thing is, we just earned ourselves a ton of EXP and I fell on a bird. To my side, my noble Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. Oh, that's interesting. We have actual uh, CT charged. Normally when uh, we fall on an enemy, you know, we never had that advantage. So I'm gonna take that advantage just to blow up all these birds. Get them out of my face. Let's move on, my Let's friends. Start. This dungeon is something else. Now, you thing. And I think there's still a chest somewhere in that uh, demonic Plinko machine. Like you gotta get to the very top somehow or something. Of course. Trying to move before I get teleported again. There's a chest somewhere. I just have no idea where it is. Here it is. Go, 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 go. Did I get the items? Yes, I got them all. Okay. That was a very deceptive chest, by the way. Oh, a flame jewel. That's fantastic. I didn't know there was two in a dungeon. Yeah, go away. Actually, I could just step on you. Mm, this is bad. At least I got first strike. Although... Did I just get game over? 
Lots of gutses? I don't think they're gonna survive these wizards. Okay, good. Woo. I I'm surprised I didn't jump into the other guy. Alright, let's see here. Helium plumes. Elixirs. And then very carefully turn. That was a very good, very carefully. Oh, it's a Ram Guardian. I haven't fought a Ram Guardian since the Tau Lizard of the Lap. But then again, that looks like a very different Ram Guardian than what you normally would fight. Hopefully he can't resurrect. Because if he can resurrect, I may cry a little. Hopefully it just dies. That would work. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, that would work for me. Okay, faint is good, too. I, I'll, I'll take faint. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was fine by me. I, I, I approve. Thank you very much, Loenta, and your uh, stun magic. That was very excellent. Thankless creatures these beasts are. Now we need to get to this... And then I had to make that jump. And jumping is not easy this game, because you kind of either just go a little bit up and a little bit down, or you go like fly. Okay, I know a Grand Cross could kill the turtle, so. If we hurt this guy, then the, the Grand Cross or the Mr. Cross will kill the turtle. A well, Celestial Star. Sorry. Um, this will kill the turtle, and then. Uh, it will also kill the Vanguard. You are finished, monster. Good job, Warrenta. Let us be gone from this place. So with the no level up, excellent. Okay, I can just drop here. Oh, I thought I was gonna get crushed. Go away. I don't watch you. Oh, shoot. Go away. Go away. Ah. I mean, this fight wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the sorcerer. The sorcerer is just the worst. And I can easily kill it if I can just hit it. You know what? Let, let's let's fight this fight. And the reason I say let's fight this fight is because I know I know that Lorenta could kill off all the dragons. And if Lorenta could kill off all the dragons, then what happens is what happens is um then I just. With all the dragons said, I can easily attack the back line. And then the sorcerer is basically screwed. That's what I meant to say. Oh wow, the, the sorcerer died! I didn't have him before. I will take it though. Also, ride this all the way over. Another chest hanging out there. Of course, it's gotta have a booby trap on an enemy inside with four mummies. Only three, okay. If we couldn't flee, then I would have, uh, Celestial, uh, crossed them, whatever. Down this way. I thought I saw my blue thing go off. There's a chest in here somewhere.
<sighs> I really hit these enemies. Really hit these enemies. They've already had the chance to hit me once. So if I'm running away here when I have, um, Celestial Star up, that doesn't make any sense. Just use Celestial Star here, nuke them all into oblivion, and then move on. Let's get the chest and then let's move on. Raven Slayer. No chest here. There is a uh, save point. Let's go ahead and use a tent. And by tent, I mean a lot of elixirs. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. This has been one of the most annoying dungeons. Answer me this. What animal walks on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? Ah, it's easy. That's the, uh, the Sphinx's riddle. The answer is human. Yes, or man. Well, the answer is man. I mean, that, that's what um, Jason said in the story. Uh, not Jason, Oedipus Rex. That's what Oedipus said in the story. Uh, he said the answer was man. Correct. Oh, the dots. I wonder if the other options would have worked as well. That was weird. Is that explosion? What? Huh? 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 more weight. Okay, we we'll place the gem, yes. I know how to do that. No, I bet you anything there's another gem. I bet you anything there's another gem. Yep, I bet you anything there's another gem in this place. Oh dear God. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Wait, if there's not a yellow gem, another gem, if there's not another gem, yellow gem, whatever. How the heck do I get out of here? I guess that's how I get out of here. All right. My friends, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. I am going to uh, go out of my mind trying to find this gem is what I'm going to do. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to show it all off because a lot of it is probably me running around uh, going to these last two rooms, it looks like. But I need to make my way all the way back to those two rooms. And then I need to do the giant Plinko machine. I mean, it's, it's, it's just... Uh, yeah, um... Oh, boy. But anyway, uh, we'll get through it. <laughs> I do love this game. Man, I wish I wish some of these complexes were a little bit toned down. But I am enjoying it, and I guess that is part of the game. So, yeah, uh, it's all good. Uh, until next time, hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day. 
So long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.